So LG launched the FN7 a couple of weeks back and I've been using it for about two weeks straight. Let me start by talking about things that I really liked. Starting with the design of the case and the earphones. The case is an absolute delight to carry with you. It's small and compact, so it's super convenient to fit in your pocket. It's round, so no edges and doesn't get uncomfortable. The black one has this matte finish, which in my opinion looks classy and that soft finish just makes it feel sophisticated. The case can be wirelessly charged. It holds enough battery to charge your earphones twice from 0 to 100%. Also, the case claims to kill 99.9% .9 bacteria that may accumulate in the earphones. It only works when you're charging the case using the cable and it takes 10 minutes to do so. Now, mind you, this does not kill the coronavirus, so just putting it out there. Now, I'm not sure if this was a feature that was really required or if it was a pressing concern, but if you're looking for the most germ-free disinfected earphones, this is probably it. Coming to the design of the earphones themselves, I absolutely love how they feel in my ear. They're super light. I'm very finicky about earphones staying in too long in my ear, but these, I had no complaints. I had them on for hours and I didn't feel much. I could have them sitting in my ear perfectly well and stable. And when I put them on, they're not too dangly in my opinion, and it just about feels right. Though I do prefer the snug fit of the Galaxy Buds Live and the Pro, but this isn't too bad either. They're also IPX4 certified, so if you're out in the rain or you're having a sweaty workout, these will not get damaged. And now let's talk about interaction controls. Connecting the earphones for the first time was super simple. I just opened the case, the earphones showed up, and it was connected. But if you want to manually pair this with anything else, just long press this button on the side when the earphones are in the case, and you can pair them with something else. You get the LG Tone Free app to customize settings, Use the inbuilt equalizer to change sound output, which is what you like hearing too, and even customize the touch controls. Talking about touch interaction, you can tap once on either of the earphones to play or pause. You can double tap to change volume and triple tap to change or skip track. The app also gives you information on the battery life for the earbuds as well. And you can know the battery level of the charging case by just closing the lid and looking at the LED in the front. And if you long touch either of the earphones, you will switch over to the ambient mode, which lets outdoor sound come in and then long press again to switch back to active noise cancellation mode, which we'll talk about a little later. Now, if you just, let's say listening to music or watching something, you can just yank this one off and it'll pause. But you can have this one put in back to the case. You can tap on the play button and you can just hear music or your video or even your phone call with just one earphone. So you're just consuming battery of one earphone while the other one is still maintaining that charge and you can keep switching and prolong battery life that way. And yeah, you can connect these to any of your devices. You know, you can connect it to a computer, tablet or your mobile phone, of course, and you can have your Zoom calls, Skype calls, WhatsApp calls and regular phone calls. The only thing is it won't connect to two devices at the same time. So just something you should know. And now let's talk about active noise cancellation, which LG introduced in the FN7. It's decent at best. So first of all, make sure you get the right ear tip so that you know it creates a passive seal in your ear and draws away a lot of outdoor sound already. And if there's any leakage, that's where the ANC kicks in and eliminates all of that too. But these are not the best. The Sony 1000 XM3s do a slightly better job at active noise cancellation than these. And guess what, in India, the Sony WF-1000XM3s, the truly wireless earphones, are slightly cheaper than these. Although in the US, um, I know they're more expensive. So definitely make that comparison, see what's cheaper for you in your country and make that decision. But hey, whether it's these or the Sony WF-1000XM3s, they don't eliminate sound completely, okay? If there is a loud enough sound around you, like someone talking too loudly or giggling too hard, you're gonna be able to hear that if you're not playing music. You can always yank up the volume and that way you're certain that you're gonna be eliminating pretty much any other sound that comes to you. And this brings me to talk about the sound quality. Now LG is very proud about its partnership with Meridian Audio, which is a British audio technology company that really works hard in delivering that super rich, clear, pristine audio. It partners with Meridian on all its products, even the FN6, the previous version, and that's what you also get with the FN7. And the audio quality, well, I wouldn't deny it. It is really good. If you're not an audiophile like me, you would absolutely enjoy the audio and the sound coming out. Even at loud volumes, most of the tones sound natural and super clear. The output is better suited for vocals, so for podcasts, YouTube videos, and so on. But not so much for bass. If you're a bass lover, I would suggest you look elsewhere. 
Okay, now let's quickly talk about things that I feel LG did not deliver on with the FN7. First, multi-device connectivity. We're all working from home, at least a lot of us are. Being able to stay connected with your laptop and your phone while I listen to music on my laptop and then when a phone call comes in, it switches to phone and then back to my laptop. I sort of enjoy that. So just having that would have been great. The ANC, as I said, it's not the best. Sony 1000 XM3s can do a better job. And with the FN7, I really have to pump up the volume to, to really just eliminate the noise around me. So that's something I feel they could have done better. Battery life. Well, I could get almost four hours of non-stop playback in one full single charge with ANC turned on. And the case can charge this twice. So technically, I can get 12 hours of playback in one full single charge, which actually for me is not bad. I don't have any issues with charging the case or the earphones multiple times. But I can see why if you compare it with competition, you're definitely getting better battery capacities with the others. But again, think about this. Their case is really small and light and compact and so are their, the actual earphones, the earpieces. The battery is probably something that they had to shave off. And actually, I'm okay with that, but I can see why some people would want more battery life. So that could become a drawback. One drawback, which I think is not a big deal, is that it lacks any integration with Siri, Alexa, or Google. So if you plan on using something like that very often, this does not have that. And lastly, the price. In Amazon US, it sells for $150 without taxes, and that I think is the perfect price given the features the FN7 offers, or it does not offer or does not deliver greatly on. But if in your region, the FN7 are more expensive than the Sony WF-1000XM3s, I would get, personally speaking, I would get the Sony 1000 xm 3s They just make more sense to me. But the tone-free, they do offer really good sound. I love the, how compact and small and easy to carry they are, and they're so pocketable that there is more merit to it, given the price is right. All right, that's pretty much what I had about the LG tone-free FN7. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.